bond electoral bond what has this electoral bond saga got to do with you the indian voter let me explain you've been hearing all about the electoral bonds but we are here to break it down on the evening of 21st march the state bank of india submitted all of the remaining details which included the alpha numeric codes of each bond and surprise surprise some of the bjp's and congress's top donors were the same industrial houses though the bjp got many times more but who gained from whom and why has it become such a big news and why should you care about these reports and how does this affect you an indian voter as we head into the elections now first a little refresher what exactly are electoral bonds for those of you who don't know or are unsure electoral bond scheme was announced by the then finance minister arun jaitley in his budget speech of 2017 and 18 it was pitched as an alternative to cash donations to political parties to bring more transparency to political funding political parties have to encash these bonds within 15 days since they were issued and who can buy these bonds any person either individually or jointly with other people can buy these bonds now when it comes to parties only those parties registered under the section 29a of the representation of the people act and which have secured not less than 1% of the votes polled in the last general elections to the lok sabha or the state assembly can encash these bonds but 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 kahani mein twist the supreme court struck down this electoral bond scheme this year as unconstitutional and now who paid these political parties So far we've had the SBI data in two separate documents donors who purchased the bonds and recipients who encashed them now here's where it gets interesting rupees 8700 crores this is how much the bjp made through electoral bonds between 2018 and 2024 let me give you an example mega engineering and infrastructure limited or meil is bjp's single largest donor They donated rupees 584 crores to BJP, but companies linked to MEIL like Western UP Power Transmission Company Limited and SEPC Power also made donations worth rupees 85 crores. So the total of the group is actually rupees 669 crores to BJP. Mega donated 125 crores to BJP between April 2019 and October 2019. During that October the income tax department raided their offices in Hyderabad, Delhi and Mumbai. The following year Megha bank rupees 4509 crores worth Zojila tunnel project in Jammu and Kashmir. Megha also donated rupees 10 crores to DMK and they have several projects in Tamil Nadu. In fact they have also donated rupees 100 crores to Bharat Rashtra Samiti or the BRS and the opposition in Telangana have accused a nexus between BRS and Megha in the massive Kaleshwaram irrigation project. If companies gave money and got contracts later does it necessarily mean quid pro quo or lien den we don't know but this is something probe agencies need to look into moving on to the alpha numeric numbers now what are these as these codes go they're not visible to the naked eye quite literally meaning we have to see it under the uv light these codes help in establishing a direct link between the donors and the political parties These numbers were first revealed by Poonam Agarwal back in 2018 when these bonds were still in their early stages. The SBI and even former Economic Affairs Secretary and Finance Secretary of India Subhash Garg maintained back then that these numbers were just a security feature. However, the latest SBI data proves otherwise and helps in establishing the direct connections. But let's get back to the important question. How does this affect you as a voter? Let me simplify this for you an Indian voter pays taxes to the government which is run by political parties political parties in power give contracts to corporations and industrialists and these parties also control the law enforcement agencies the corporations or the individuals then issue these electoral bonds to the political parties hence the taxpayers money circulates in a loop and this is why it is all linked actions by your elected political leaders projects by these corporations and the taxes that you pay all of this impacts you the indian voter the quint has been relentlessly investigating the electoral bonds data and you can check all of our reports on the electoral bonds section on our website become a member and support our journalism